Hi folks, here's part D of the um, of um, the overview of the engineered nanobio node. I'm Jeffrey Fox, uh, reporting it for the project. Uh, this is involves Purdue and Illinois and National Science Foundation, and uh, this is the last part of the overview. It describes the uh, visualization and the experimental validation uh, thrusts. Uh, all right, so here now we start with scientific visualization led by L.F. Garifadilis, who's a faculty in intelligent systems engineering. And this uh, project is called FURY. Okay, so FURY stands for the Free uh, Unified Rendering in Python. And um, the Unified Rendering in Python. Here is a URL, fury.gl, and it supports 3D scientific visualization surfaces and particles in Python. And it um, connects to the OpenGL and VTK stand, well known standards in the field, and has lots of functions ready for you to use. It's actively maintained in the GitHub by the community and was released eight times over the last year. The only reason it's not available today on NanoHub is we don't have the right um, uh, optimized um, GPUs. Uh, we don't actually have to be optimized, they just have to be GPUs, uh, so we can do visualization in an effective fashion. All right, so here's some sort of example of shading, uh, shading capabilities with the horse service. This is a horse service. Uh, this shows how we how um, Fury supports surfaces with uh, dynamic coloring. And uh, you can, of course, put some more complex structure there. And here is, um, if you want to say study optimization, you can get all sorts of peculiar 3D functions where you want to try to find the um, right minima. And of course, these functions here have lots and lots of false minima, some are more false than others. And or some of them more true than others, and uh, to, you want to see how your famous, uh, your favorite uh, local minima avoiding strategy, or your favorite genetic algorithm, the bounce between uh, minima uh, behaves. Then you can actually um, uh, visualize it uh, and uh, these surfaces and see how it goes. Um, so this is. Um, Hard to optimize functions, and you can build very powerful visualizations there. Here is um, particle visualization or networks, various shapes. Some of the ones in the middle by uh, LF student Javier is uh, very nicely dynamic. <coughs> and if, and I say these can do an order of magnitude more. Of particles than the typical systems, which usually get stuck around half a million particles. Uh, here we have uh, cancer simulations we can visualize, and uh, we can here's just a, a cancer simulation captured at the initial and later stage using the work of a, a macro unit led by Paul Macklin. Uh, the last part of this whole. Um, um, discussion, but certainly not the least, because there's no point in doing any of this unless it actually is something to do with the real world and Mother Nature. And Trevor Douglas is representing Mother Nature and working on aspects of <coughs> experimental validation. This is typically easier in the um, nano area than it is in the micro and macro, because the nano particles are better defined and more reproducible behavior and things like that. So currently we do validation, direct validation only for the nano area. And so far we have found good results, good correspondence between our simulations and Trevor's data. Uh, so Trevor uses some sophisticated um, equipment. In particular, the most exotic of these is the small angle X-ray scattering at uh, Argonne National Lab. 
where you have an X-ray beam, it hits a sample, and then you have a detector which um, looks at the debris produced by that scattering. So this is uh, light on material interactions. It's at the advanced photon source. The photon source gives you your X-rays. So here is an overview of what uh, he's, uh, Trevor is doing. Um, we have here, so he's using a mixer. Here's the Argon APS system, microscopy, the Caro TTEM, a very exciting device for high fine resolution studies. There's one of those at IU, but also the game, the APS system, SACS. And um, here we just do uh, uh, less exotic uh, measurements. And they're comparing with the nanoparticle self assembly. Uh, the ions in nano confinement and the nano binding application, three of uh, Vikram's applications. And that was using viruses as the sort of building block, which we explained how nanoparticles are uh, the nano engineers, a variant of a, of, a, of a virus. And here we are looking at experiments with particles in different sizes. And um, here we are looking at the uh, densities against the strength. And these are the simulations and the experiments compared. <coughs> you can see that pretty good. And the last slide is um, comes a, is finding a correlation function from this from the simulation. And um, this is a using scattering angle data. And uh, here again are the same simulations. And this is a comparison between the theory and the experiment. All right, so that's, uh, these is just a smattering of the results that we have in all these different thrust areas. And I hope they're interesting to you. And uh, we hope to continue this exciting work and the important work and contribute to the nanobio community.